Hey, you! What's going on, dudes? We're back here in Genesis 2 for Ark, and I wanted to show you guys how you can spawn in the uh, Federation tech suit here, which is just like the regular tech suit. It looks a little different. Honestly, I think it looks a little bit crueler. But with this tech suit, it uh, it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It counts as a skin, but it still works as a uh, tech suit. And with Genesis 2, you actually spawn in with it every time you die. So, and you don't need element. You, there's no fuel needed to work this jetpack or, or any of it. So, um, yeah, Federation tech suit for the win. It's what we needed for the conclusion of Ark, I think. And I'm really glad that they made the decision to give everybody tech suits right off the bat. It kind of uh, changes the experience and, I don't know, kind of gets you to the late game a little bit quicker than having to do the uh, same old thing that you've done on all the maps so far. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so the spawn command for this, I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the screen for you guys to check out. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with flying jetpacks, I couldn't really tell you how it is on uh, console anymore because I haven't I haven't played for years on console. But I can tell you how it is on PC. So you can uh, hover in place with shift. You can also uh, go in any direction while shift hovering. And then there's a boost. So while you're shifting to hover, you can hold uh, control. And it goes into like this mega boost. Now this also works on the ground if you're just, even if you're standing still, it'll boost you forward like this. And this actually hurts dinos and uh, trees and rocks and stuff that you blast through. So another cool thing about the tech suit that not a lot of people are getting the hang of, I don't think, is the, uh, the blast. So if you shift in place and then hold your right click down, you have like a power Hulk smash punch thing. Actually, I guess you don't have to shift. You don't have to be hovering to do it. You can do it straight from the ground. But this actually breaks. Uh, let me go over to... Hmm, maybe I can show you guys in space how this actually harvests. I think the metal pickaxe is probably going to be better. But if you don't have one and you need stuff right off the bat, uh, you can just smash them with your hands. So I'm going to try to boost over to that I guess looks like there's a uh, crystal out and about there's always gonna be metal too so I'll smash if there's crystal I'll smash some crystal for you guys but uh I at least want to show you guys smashing the metal and what that does if there's any metal on this island honestly it kind of takes a while to travel in space it's like really slow out here so uh, I'm not gonna spend all day looking for some metal nodes but it's like this. there's nothing on this rock. Where's the metal? Okay, if there's no metal on this rock down here, then uh, we're just out of luck. Oh, and if you want to descend, which is really important out here in space, uh, hold C. Otherwise, you're just going to be floating for a while. You don't really drop very much here. So you can boost and hold C, and it kind of boosts you and makes you descend at the same time. Come on, space. What time is it? Oh, no. I've got like three in-game minutes before space changes anyway, dude. Uh, it changes at midnight. Crap. I came at the wrong time. I guess that's another way you could descend a little faster is just smashing down. Ah, it's too late. Okay. Well, I failed you guys. Anyway, hopefully you guys got everything out of this video that you needed to get out of it pertaining to the... Uh, tech suit at least i'm kind of wondering if we can actually build out here in space is that is that a thing like can i attach some structures to this wall up here and actually live out here because that would be freaking amazing it's got a little platform over here like it wants you to build here so what's up is this a thing if i can build out here i'm definitely like putting a little like space station on the wall out here Maybe like a little place to park my hover skiff. <laughs> Make a little spaceship out. Dude, this is perfect. This is perfect for building. There's no way you can't build out here. I'm pretty sure you can. Let me uh, hmm. Let me spawn in a structure and see if I can place it. So what do I need to do? Enable cheats. Enable 
and GCM and oh boy we could build out here all right I'm building a space station I'm putting a hover skiff landing pad that's it that's it so if you guys want to play with me or uh, the crew for from telling guard then we do actually have a Natrato server rented and is available for you guys at least gonna be for a couple months because we plan on playing uh, Genesis part 2 for a little while uh, probably at le at the very least it's going to be up for three months so if you guys would like to join and play with us while we are uh, experiencing ARC again feel free to search for the Telengard server on uh, un under unofficial on PC we're on Steam so um, yeah and we have a couple of mods here but nothing game breaking nothing crazy anyway dudes hopefully you guys enjoyed I'll catch you guys on the next video